Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also add a formula field into your report, and this is probably the most common reason at first to use the formula workshop window. Formula fields are simply fields that are placed into your report that calculate a value determined by the formula which you create. You can either create them through the formula workshop window or through the field explorer pane. If you've already launched the formula workshop window, you could create a new formula field by just clicking the small drop down arrow next to the new button and then choosing the formula command. So for example, if we choose formula workshop, we can use the drop down and choose formula. That'll bring up the formula name dialog box. You could also, in the field explorer, just right click on the formula fields entry and then choose new from the little pop-up menu that appears or click the New button in the toolbar at the top of the Field Explorer. Whichever way you begin, you'll next see the Formula Name dialog box appear. In here you type the name which you wish to give to the Formula field into the Name text box. You can then click either the Use Expert button to launch the Formula Expert window in the Formula Workshop, which is less common, or you can click the Use Editor button to launch the Formula Editor window in the Formula Workshop, which is much more common. If you accidentally entered this window, you can actually click Cancel to cancel the Formula Name dialog box and exit without even creating a formula field. Once you've clicked the Use Editor button, you'll view the Formula Editor panes in the Formula Workshop. The formula that you create will be displayed in the formula text window area of the formula editor. Now you create the desired formula using the available fields, functions, and operators listed in the three panes above the formula text window. So for example, if we wanted to show the order amount, from the order details table we could re take a reference to the unit price field, the operator of multiply, and then the quantity field without even having to type a thing. Note that you can change which syntax you would prefer to use using the syntax drop down at the right side of the expression editor toolbar. By default it does display the more commonly used crystal syntax choice but you can also choose basic syntax if you prefer. Selecting the basic syntax option places the required formula equals variable into the formula text window but you'd have to choose it before creating the formula. You can then finish editing the formula as needed in the formula text window and then click the check button at the left end of the expression editor toolbar to check the syntax of the formula you've created. If there is an error with the formula it'll be indicated by a message box which appears. You can then correct the formula before attempting to save it. Once the syntax is correctly entered for the desired formula you can click the save button to save your changes. If you wish to save the formulas changes and also close this window, you can instead click the Save and Close button. Once the report formula has been created, it will appear as any other field does in the Field Explorer pane at the right side of the Design view. You can then add it to the report in the Design view, just as you would any other database field or special field. Once again, be aware of the placement of the formula field within the sections of the report as its placement within the sections can also drastically impact its displayed value. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.